my butternut squash. This is the part of the program okay. where I am keeping the skin on. Got it. So that's the nutrients. I've got my ginormous. Made in the USA, most gorgeous knife. You've got to so have curly. a pretty substantial knife to cut through squash. Really? I, I will admit, yeah. cutting squash is not my favorite thing to do in the kitchen. Okay. I'm just waiting for the day that I chop a finger off. So this is a really, really, really sharp knife, okay. and I'm cutting through my squash. Yeah, and your hand, the other hand is way away from the blade. Way it's away. A lot of. Okay. So essentially, this is my roasted, my herby roasted butternut squash and shallot. This okay. is a perfect side dish for your holiday feast. Yeah. Um, nutritious, mm -hmm. delicious. Um, absolutely beautifully colorful because we have our butternut squash and we also are going to stick in some acorn squash which I'll chop here in just a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you drizzle it with some olive oil. This okay. is super easy. And this is Vietri also you mentioned? That's a Vietri piece. I love that. Oh, they gorgeous. have a little olive oil and vinegar holder that I keep beside my stove top all the time. That so you can reach so and grab. That is smart because I'm constantly having to... Yeah. I mean, right. it sits right there all, all right. the time. That's, that's a good addition. That's a great stocking stuffer. I have to ask for that. When you say drizzle to someone who doesn't know what drizzle... That's perfect. Okay. More, the, more is better than not enough. You don't want your, um, you don't want your squash to look like it's kind of dry yeah. and looking not so great. Yeah. Then we're gonna add some Bella Cucina savory salt. This is their calendula and chive, which is really, really good in this recipe in particular. I mean, first of all, also what an awesome gift this would be. I love anything that comes with the little spoon in the set. Okay, so I'm gonna get in there and how much would you just sprinkle? Yeah, that's good. Just sprinkle it all around. Perfect. So I'm peeling my shallot. So you do obviously want to peel your shallots. And shallots um, are the little tiny kind of French style onions that are very, very garlicky looking. Mm -hmm. If you look at a you know a small shallot, yep, and they smell very garlicky. And these will make you cry when you cut them, which is why I've pre-prepared most of the shallots. And I'm just going to cut and peel this one. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it does. All right, we need some pepper on there too. Yes, we do. And for the shallots, if they're, if they're smaller shallots, I'm not gonna cut them in half. Um, all right, and then we're just gonna use our tongs and mm -hmm. just kind of, oops, oops. mix it all together. Okay. So we're gonna place all of those on our, on our parchment lined baking sheet. Okay. Again, you definitely want a rimmed baking sheet. Yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, the placement of these, but the rimmed baking sheet is important, obviously, because you're going to get some kind of juicy runoff from your roasting vegetables. Okay. Um, and you want it to, to catch. What did you preheat the oven to? So we are going to roast these at 425 to 450. I depending on how much time you have and how thick your squash is, uh -huh. um, you definitely want it very high heat. And if you have a convection, you can sometimes even use the convection. Just don't keep them in and bake them quite as long as you would otherwise. So these are gonna be in the oven for probably 30 minutes or so because our pieces of squash are pretty big. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna add our shallots. All right, Ashley, I'm going to have you mm -hmm. drizzle a tiny bit more of olive oil just over our shallots. Okay. Perfect. The more olive oil, the better. Yes. Love it, love it. And then we're just going to pop this straight into the oven. Let's do it. I mean, you see how, how beautifully roasted everything is. It's just yeah. kind of arrange it on there. And again, it's okay to use your hands. They're clean. Mm -hmm. But we've got you know, all of our beautifully roasted shallots, and they're kind of caramelized. You kind of see the caramelization a little bit. But what I love about this side dish uh -huh. is it's delicious, a little bit warm and it's also delicious room temperature because what really makes this dish is the drizzle we're gonna make for it. So we've arranged all of our yummy things on here. Um, okay, we're gonna make our 
our drizzle. Okay. And I'm going to have you whisk all this together as okay. I'm putting it all in there. Um, black tahini. So, t as you probably know, tahini is sesame, just ground sesame seeds with a little bit of oil, sometimes a little bit of salt. These are, it's basically the same thing, just made with black sesame seeds. Okay. Which are really delicious, and it has this nutty, woodsy, mm -hmm. much more pungent uh -huh. smell um, and flavor than a regular tahini. Yeah. So we're gonna pour that in the bowl. I'm so curious about the consistency, we'll see. Oh, it is, look at that. Yeah. It's like batter. And it's sort of like a fresh nut butter. You kind of have to stir it up to get it does it have any of the little seed casings, or is it completely free no, of that? No, it's, it's completely smooth. And you buy it, I, you can buy it at the grocery store, um, just like you could buy, you know, like a little container of tahini. The black tahini is a little bit more difficult to find. Okay. But it is out there, and I'm juicing my lemon. Is this another Meyer lemon, too? This is just a regular lemon. Regular lemon. We've got our amazing Savannah Bee honey, and they actually sent us some black sage honey, which oh, is yum. one of their more... I think this is a very special, difficult to find honey. So, mm, I'm so excited to be able to use this in this recipe. Oh, so I'm gonna drizzle it okay. about a tablespoon. Is there any little fun trick for knowing what a tablespoon is when you no, do it that way? I, and no, kinda, no. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that, I think Southerners are very comfortable with sort of like a dash of this. A oh yeah. A pinch of that. Exactly. Um, I also have, I may end up adding a little bit of lemon depending on how the consistency is looking, but I don't want it to be too tart. Okay. So I'm going to crush my garlic clove here, mm -hmm. peel it, and I'm going to mince it, and then we're going to toss it in there. So this will have a tiny bit of garlicky flavor to it. Almost, it's a very Mediterranean, this drizzle is kind of a very Mediterranean. So doesn't so that smell good. so good? And look at that pop of color it adds. Oh my gosh. So this is just fresh mint. Then we're gonna add a little oh. bit fresh pomegranate seeds, okay. which are delicious on this. So I'm just gonna literally sprinkle those on there. So keep some away from the, the imbibing guests when you make exactly. your cotton your meals, your so these meals. Aside. Look at the color. But isn't that gorgeous? This Girl. is one of my favorite side dishes because it is so pretty. And last we have I'm gonna chop these just a little bit so they're not so big. Um, some, these are roasted and salted pistachios. And you can use just roasted pistachios. I like to add the little bit of kind of salty flavor to this yeah. dish with the, with the salted roasted. And again, perfectly imperfect. Does awesome. not have to be, thank you, does not have to be. And again, this is a beautiful VA tree serving dish. That I love for this with their Are you serving kidding? That needs to be on the cover. Is that of not the most gorgeous? Every magazine side? this time of year. It is unbelievable. And it's so easy. You've got your roasted veggies, your roasted shallots, and then you put your yummy drizzle on there and top it with all things delicious. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.